You know, there comes a time in the life of any appliance when it's over. And when that time comes, <laughs> you'll know. But what do you do when you have an old fridge and stove that the garbage men won't take and you don't live next to a ravine? <laughs> well, I guess if you're real good with a can opener, you could get rid of them a little bit at a time. But if you're a handyman, or even better, a handyman with a teenager, here's what you can do. Step one, take the top off the stove. Step one, take the back off the stove. Take the door off the stove. <laughs> then you remove the top and back. Because once you get the top and the back off the unit, this is no longer a stove. It's an office chair for your teenager's workstation. <laughs> Got a fully reclining backrest, a place to keep his books, or her books. So hard to tell with kids these days. <laughs> and here's an extra bonus, a retractable footrest. So your kid doesn't get carpal tunnel in his butt. But how's he gonna know when his homework is done? Well, that's what this homework timer is for. Just set it to well done. And for extra safety and comfort, I would suggest you line the whole unit with an air mattress. Because I believe there could be an exposed sharp edge or two. And I'm right. Now here's a question. Can I rig up these burners to make a red hot reading light? <laughs> no. You know, it's good for a teenager to sit in a stove because you want them in the hot seat. But you also want them to be cool. So this fridge becomes his computer desk. And that automatic fridge light means you don't need any of those goofy looking desk lamps. <laughs> now the door is kept horizontal thanks to these little chains I got from the bank. They even have pens on them. <laughs> the shelves are great for holding my files. And these ice cube trays handle all your office supplies. <laughs> and oh, what's that? A mouse. No wonder the cat was in there. <laughs> oh, and check this out. The ice maker makes a dandy pencil sharpener. And that's how you turn a couple of burned out appliances into a high tech workstation. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Boy, this is educational. I learned something. Hey, Red Green here. I want to tell you about a brand new project. It's like nothing you've ever heard before, unless you're my age. They call it a podcast, but it's way, way more than that. In a podcast, somebody just tells you what they think. But with us, you know, that would never fill a half hour. So instead, we do handyman stuff. Plumbing and electrical, carpentry and auto mechanics. We invent things and fix things and improve things and sometimes destroy things. And we have a ton of special guests, including my nephew, Harold. Oh, you got it. Ranger Gord, Dalton Humphrey, and Winston Rothschild doing what he does best. Sometimes we bring animals right into the lodge. We let you hear the sights of the whole Possum Lake area. We get out there and we take you with us. Plus we answer mail from our supporters and give advice on life and plenty of other stuff we like to call filler. We don't have ads or sponsors. Instead, we're asking people like you to support us. It's a great way for you to go to Possum Lodge for a visit every month. It'll be good for you. You can get on board for as little as a dollar a month and you can quit any time. Go to redgreen.com, click on the link. Oh, and one other thing, keep your stick on the ice.